In the 2015 Global Innovation 1000 study, Strategy and PwC's strategy consulting business found that R&D is now a global activity for the vast majority of major corporations, as 94% conduct R&D in countries beyond their home country. To understand this fully, we examined the corporate R&D flow of 207 of the largest global innovators and saw a shift in innovation spending in the years since our 2008 study, when we first charted the global flows. You know, if you look at just where companies are headquartered, you know, North America is number one, uh, Europe is number two, Asia is number three. And it's, that's, that's still the case in terms of R&D spending based on company headquarters. But that really conceals what's really been going on uh, over the last seven, eight years. And that story, when you look at where the work is actually happening, is very different. Our main finding? Asia has become the number one region for corporate R&D spending. North America remains the second largest, and Europe has fallen to third. This is a reversal from 2007, when Europe was the top region for corporate R&D, and Asia was the third largest. Asia's rise was largely attributed to the dynamic growth of China and India between 2007 and 2015, as both countries saw dramatic increases in their in-country, meaning domestic and imported, R&D spending. What is the reason for this shift in where R&D spending is occurring? The motivation is not just about labor arbitrage. It is about being close to the markets and the customers in Asia and those growing economies. And it's also about access to talent. Although North America is the second largest region for R&D spending behind Asia, the U.S. remained the largest in-country R&D spender in both 2007 and 2015. Companies continue to be attracted to the U.S.'s steady economic environment and innovative culture. However, other countries, specifically Asian countries like China, are seeing R&D volumes grow and faster than in the U.S., which is causing the U.S. to lose some of its relative advantage. Europe's fall to the third largest region for corporate R&D in 2015 was of small growth in in-region R&D and a large increase in exported R&D outside of Europe. This is most noticeable in Western Europe, especially in France and Germany, each of which saw imports decline and exports increase from 2007 to 2015. These and other European exports were most often sent offshore to high-cost countries such as the U.S. and Japan, and low-cost countries such as China and India, and less to neighboring high-cost countries in Western Europe. This is the hollowing out of Europe. And there are several reasons. The low economic growth in Europe compared to the stronger economic growth in the United States, uh, the larger individual market of the United States as opposed to any individual European country, the large talent pool, particularly in terms of things around digital, uh, which is uh, a leading capability set for the U.S., and the more attractive and flexible business environment that, you know, com companies that operated in the U.S. not only can tap into that innovation of uh, the culture and the technical resources, but it's just a more amenable business environment to conduct activities in. To learn more about the 2015 Global Innovation 1000 study, please visit our website, 